So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now listen, this video here is Meet the Judge who went viral for his creative punishments, right? Meaning he was like, I'm finna revolutionize the way I hand, up, hand out punishments, you know, hand out my sentences um, to the criminals, bro. And we can all agree to some extent that the system is definitely broken. So we do need some type of change, man. Somebody to come in and 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 do things different, shake things up a bit, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like we need that, bro. New blood, new type of people in in the system to 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 promote change. Now, and that that means also not getting rid of the old, but just mixing it and blending it, bringing the old with the new, and coming to some kind of form of common ground to do things better because. We all know, man, most of the prisoners that go to prison or go to jail, bro, it, they get worse. <laughs> they get worse. They come out with more knowledge of how to be a criminal. You know what I'm saying? That my, fa my favorite line from the movie uh, uh, Blow with Johnny Depp when he was, you know what I'm saying, moving the drugs for Pablo Escobar was like, he was like, I went in with a, with a, with a bachelor's of marijuana and came out with a doctorate of cocaine. <laughs> like, I learned how to be a better criminal in jail. Like, if you think that's a false statement, then you have a false sense of reality, bro. Like, that literally goes, is how it goes down in there, man. So, yeah, like, a judge who's like, nah, I gotta get creative, bro. I gotta make it to where you don't want, cause the whole purpose of this is supposed to be so you don't want to come back here, right? You don't want to come back here. You're getting handed this punishment so you know you can go there, you can rehabilitate and not want to ever come back here. But most people, man, you hear about stories all the time, like one of my favorite rappers, DMX, right? In his book, he, he said, and I read this like years, years ago when he released his book. He was like, man, I come home from jail and I'd be home for sometimes 24 hours before I'm right back in there. Like, what? That's insane to me to hear that. You home for less than 24 hours? Like, did you even get a shower? Did you did you get a good meal? Like, did you, you know what I'm saying? Like, before you was right back in the system. So that's crazy to me. So we're going to check out and see what creative punishments this judge was able to come up with. All right? If you're new to the channel, man, subscribe. Of all things to go viral on the internet, boo the dog, dancing pandas, how does a tough-talking small-town judge make the cut? Well, the one you're about to meet is not your average gavel-banging magistrate. His honor's got a unique way of dispensing justice to the people who show up in his courtroom. And as it turns out, it's shockingly successful. Here's ABC's TJ Holmes. We'll be the judge of that. Let's hear it. He's the kind of judge no one can forget. All right, please. On uh, August 6th, uh, probation violation, he entered a plea of not guilty. Now I got a question for you. Uh, does that mean I still can't drink on probation? Just stop. Really? Okay. Really, you really okay, well, you really asked that question when well, I me, when I just said he I don't think he has an alcohol problem. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take sometimes it's okay to shut up, bro? It's all right. It's cool. Just shut up. Like you you were two, like one foot out the door, bro. Out the door. And you just couldn't hold that. Like that's something you even ask your lawyer. That way he could properly ask the judge in a way that doesn't come off the way you did. <laughs> You sound like you got a drinking problem. Jeez, shut up. Your dumb pills today? Judge Chickenetti of Painesville, Ohio, or Judge Chick as he goes by, sees 30 to 40 cases a day, but it's his unique method of sentencing that has turned him into a viral sensation. And now to this story, an Ohio judge defending an unusual punishment. Gave one teen a punishment she definitely will never forget. 18 year old Victoria Bascom, takes a cab ride that stiffs the driver in the end. The teenager who skipped out on a cab fare to a long 
Walk of shame. Just a few months ago, one of the judge's latest sentences got international media attention. When 18-year-old Victoria Bascom was given a choice, spend 30 days in jail or walk 30 miles. I've never been to jail and I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ever walk 30 miles, bro? Listen, I always tell people the story of, of us walking Disneyland, bro. Like when we took we took the me and Queen took the boys to to Disneyland or Disney World or whatever the one it was, bro. And the walking, the amount of walking that we had to do, bro. When we got back, our leg, our calves, our thighs, our feet were throbbing so much that we didn't want to move. Like we just wanted to lay in the bed stiff and just not move for 24 hours, bro. So that just automatically puts me walking 30 miles, bro. And then let's see how he how he dishes it out. She has to have it completed by how long. I'm kind of upset about this sentence, you know, because I'm thinking I was going to go on and have to just pay a fine. Like, it's only $100. When did that idea pop into your head to, you know what I'm going to do with this girl? I'm going to make her walk. It just came to me. And I even asked her, I think this is where it came in, when I said, if you didn't have a cab, then what would you do? She'd go, walk. Then I said, let's make her walk 30 miles. So I gave her the choice of 30 days of jail or, or 30 miles. I end up almost getting jail time, so I guess i kind of lucky he gave me this option. But this kind of um, creative sentencing is not new to the judge. He's been doing it for years. Very humiliating, very embarrassing. After being arrested for soliciting a prostitute, this man chose public humiliation over jail time. Is this tough enough punishment that you're never ever gonna be doing something I, like this again? Yes, absolutely. This teen stole porn from an adult bookstore. I'm thankful that Judge Chickenetti gave me an opportunity instead of a jail time. This woman was caught on surveillance tape, walking into a Burger King and pepper spraying one of the workers in the face. Her sentence? The judge gave the defendant a choice, either serve time or get sprayed herself with what she thought. Yes, I totally agree with that. You should know how it feels like, bro. Nah, take this. Take this to the face. Money shot time. Thought was pepper spray. And you couldn't use a real pepper spray because you, no, can't, you can't injure somebody. And now I am bucking heads with those law professors. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, that sucks. You couldn't use the real pepper spray. Like, I like this judge, bro. For real. Or get sprayed herself with what she thought was pepper spray. And you couldn't use a real pepper spray because you, no, can't, you can't injure somebody. And now I am bucking heads with those law professors <laughs> when, I, when I use real pepper spray. Now we're getting into the cruel and unusual. Did the victim get the vengeance in that case, given that it wasn't real pepper spray? Yeah, may not be what you wanted. It's all that I could do as the law permits. But it scared the hell out it's of the scared, defendant. Yeah, but it scared the hell out of the defendant. So it served its purpose. This is your one chance, it better be good. Judge Chick may be on to something. A judge can simply follow the law and if somebody committed a crime, here are the possible penalties. How much of those, how much of that do I impose? It's almost elementary, right? It goes back to like your elementary days in school. Nobody wanted to be humiliated. Like you were almost like go toe to toe with somebody for humiliation, bro. Same rules apply. Nobody wants to be, especially in a day of social media, where your humiliation could be, it could go viral, and you will have to see that over and over and over again for the rest of your life, almost become known as that type person or that person when people see you, you'll never be able to shake that. The mere thought of that for some people, I'm not gonna say for everybody, but for some people, it's too much to bear. Like, he is literally definitely on to something with this. I agree. Sure, you can do that and you go home and, and, and you can rest easy. Or you can take each case a little more personal and still apply that same law. The rates of repeat offenders are much lower in his courtroom than the national average. When you talk about state prisons and federal prisons, their problems started way back here with my court with municipal courts, with the minor offenses. Most people don't start out with a felony case. We have to stop them from going further at the beginning stages. Uh, then otherwise it escalates. They get in jail, they get smarter, smarter criminally. And as they get smarter criminally, the offenses become greater. On the docket- That's crazy, right? He echoed the same thing I said. Jail is just like a boot camp. It's gonna, it's, you go in there, boot camp, you're gonna get better. And when you come out, you're going to be a better criminal. That's insane to think, but it's true. For today, two cases, one involving a bicycle theft and the other, a case that hit a little close to home for the judge. Who's being silly? Who's being silly?
as a pet owner, he was extremely upset about how Alyssa Morrow treated her sit bull mix. I'm going to vomit reading the report. This is how animal control found moose in a house that can only be described as belonging to a hoarder. Morrow says she left him there for just a week. She's in court today pleading guilty to animal neglect and cruelty. You know, I, I can't interpret the feelings of a dog, but boy, if dogs could tell you how they felt. Oh, yeah. And scared and frightened and sick. Well, maybe you should get a little taste of that. But I'm going to let you have a choice here. And the choice is I want you to live like moose. And in order to do that, I want you to go down to the county dump, to the landfill. And I want them to find the stinkiest, smelliest, god-awful odor place they can find in that dump. And I want you to sit there for eight hours tomorrow. Just think what you did to that dog while you smell the odor. If you puke, you puke. Understand? Morrow has the choice. Of I respect that judge, bro. I respect that judge. I just had a whole conversation with somebody about um, being a pet owner now. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't imagine leaving my my pet. Like, you might as well consider that's my child for a week, abandoned. Like, he should have made her go down there and, and work and clean in that smelly environment for a week. You left him for a week? You should have to go put in a week's worth of work down there in that environment and deal with that for a week to see what he had to go through. That's crazy. Of either choosing to do this alternative sentence or spend 90 days in jail. She agrees to go to the dump. Okay. See you at the dump tomorrow. We'll get to the dump later. But first, the case of the disappearing bike. The defendant, Jordan Walsh, showed up to court with his mother. All right, Jordan, you stole a bike, walked into the garage, took a bike, and well, Your Honor, I know, I know Mr. Walsh uh, takes full responsibility for this. <laughs> These lawyers, man, are hilarious, bro. I know Mr. No, you don't. You just met him. And he probably ain't even meet him alone. You probably met his parent because that's the person who probably paid you. You met the parent. You met him for a few seconds. Probably ain't have uh, uh, 10 minutes worth of dialogue with him. Come on, I know this man. Man, stop it, bro. Like, this whole, like, uh, this system is funny to me, man. It's funny. It's just listen to how he said it. He couldn't even formulate a full sentence when he was talking. You stole a bike, walked into the garage, took a bike, and, and rode it. Well, Your Honor, I know, I know Mr. Walsh uh, takes full responsibility for this. For the punishment, and I think to get your attention that it's not to be done again, as I always do, you're going to have the, the choice of 60 days of jail. You can avoid that by 10 days of community work service. So you stole a bike and rode a bike, so that's what you're going to do again here Tuesday in the fair parade. The judge has made him an offer he can't refuse. He ordered Walsh to ride a bike on behalf of a local charity in a parade the following week. You worried about going to jail? Yeah. 60 days, I, when I heard that, I, my heart just dropped. And the guy that got his bike stolen is surprisingly supportive. I didn't want the kid's life to be ruined because he stole a bike, but, you know, he needs to pay for what he did. You know, embarrass him a little bit. You know, it's better than him sitting in jail. He rode the bike all along the parade route. I think it's better than going to jail because I can show people that I can do better in my community. Respect taught him something that's why i say rehabilitation bro now is that gonna cure him let's not be naive that's not gonna cure him of, of getting into things but the next time you come before that judge you know when you come before him again that, hey I, I i didn't learn i didn't listen you know i had an opportunity you know what i'm saying you can't get mad at the judge because he gave you a chance most people go in there feeling like ah, everybody's against me. I did this. It is what it is. But he can honestly say that judge tried to steer him in the right direction. And I respect that judge wholeheartedly for that, man. This is dope. This is super dope. For Alyssa Morrow, her second chance came the day after court at the local dump. And she was given the ironic job of picking up garbage. Girl, not the best outfit choice. I know. She, I thought about it. <laughs> I couldn't find my other shoes when I was already running late, so. For the next eight hours, Morrow must spend her day, just like Moose, spent close to a week in filth. Definitely didn't think I'd be here, but I'd rather be here than jail. Can't complain. The good news is that Moose is recuperating wonderfully and is now up for adoption. 
for Nightline. I'm TJ Holmes in Painesville, Ohio. Yo, man, that's like <laughs> that's like one of the best things I've seen in a while, man. Shout outs to this judge. And this video is a little older. I think this came out in what, maybe 2015. You know what I mean? So I'm just now getting wind of that, but still salute to that judge, bro. That was super dope. And I think that's how things should be done to a certain extent. You know what I mean? Some things you're not just going to be able to do that with. But for the most part, like he said, if you could stop these things from happening in the beginning, because like he said, nobody just not everybody comes in here and commits a felony first. It's normally something that grows to that. You know what I mean? Man, man, bike thefts was crazy when I was younger, man. You couldn't leave a bike in a carport for nothing. It'll be gone. I got my bike stolen. So I I, I definitely like, like salute to this judge. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought of this, man. Just do this. He, he definitely, sh others should definitely be paying attention to this movement. You know what I mean? To the next reaction of my piece, y'all stay solid. Hey.